I think we can all agree that editing wedding films can be time consuming and overwhelming at times. We've all been there, us included. So we want to change that and help you become a faster editor and allow for more creativity in post by optimizing your workflow. Hey everyone, my name is Kaylin from White & Reverie and we are really excited about something that we have been working on for you wedding filmmakers. We are in the process of taking all of our knowledge and tips and tricks about editing our weddings in Final Cut Pro X, yes, Final Cut Pro X, and creating our very own masterclass for wedding film editors. What we will be discussing in our class can be broken down into five different stages. Transfer, prep, edit, mastering, and delivery. We will be going through our entire workflow from import to delivery. Just by putting in the extra effort at the beginning stages of your editing process will quickly allow you to navigate your shots you want to use for your film as well as easily apply your color grade and audio mastering for your film. When it comes to the transfer stage, we will be discussing how we take the footage from our cameras and transfer them to our external hard drive. Not so hard, I know. However, we will also discuss properly setting up our folders and renaming files so that once imported, our smart collections instantly populate with the proper clips. Boom. Now, the most time consuming and the most time saving stage is the prep stage. It involves the most steps but drastically reduces your editing time if you can master this stage and put in the extra time. This section of the class will showcase how we properly set up our library how we import our clips and add corresponding metadata, sort our footage into our template-based keyword collections, and how we set up our multicams. Then the fun part begins. Actually for me the fun part was actually the prep stage, but this is where Christine takes over. Now we start editing our wedding film. Since we put in the time to prepare all of our clips, the editor can now focus on the best parts of the wedding and start pulling out the different dialogue sections and start browsing for songs. Now one of the most loved and hated but very misunderstood things about Final Cut Pro X is the magnetic timeline. We didn't utilize it up until recently and once we discovered how to properly use this feature we realized it was actually incredible. The way we choose to use the magnetic timeline is by placing all of our dialogue clips such as ceremony toasts as well as any other shots that have corresponding effects or audio attached to them into the primary storyline and then placing all our other sequence shots or b-roll footage above the magnetic timeline into what is called a connected storyline. Now because we cut up our music a lot and layer multiple sections together at times, this structure has been the easiest and the most efficient way for us to edit. Once we've created a rough edit, we then start finalizing the film and begin the mastering stage. Okay, this is my favorite stage. This stage includes fine-tuning shot selections, in-depth audio mastering, color balancing and grading, as well as implementing any effects or title sequences before exporting the film. Here's a little tip. We actually do all of our audio effects inside the multicam as well as some of our color grading so that the effects populate accordingly throughout the film because of their nested multicam properties. So you should be using multicams instead of synchronized clips to take advantage of this awesome feature. It's pretty powerful. So after the film has been exported, we then move on to the delivery stage. Now every company has different deliverables and ways they send off their films to their clients. Um, as of 2018, we now deliver all of our films through digital delivery via MediaZilla. If you haven't heard of MediaZilla, check out the link in our description. It makes life so much easier and simpler for us. Now there are still package upgrades we offer that do require shipping out a physical product, but we are just going to address our online delivery setup. MediaZilla has a really great option for a menu system where you can showcase all of your films in a really professional way. You can also embed that on your website so that it has your whole branding intact. And you can also make it available for your clients to download the files. So it's a great resource that we've been utilizing as of this year and we absolutely love it. So there you go. Just a little glimpse into our process for editing wedding films in Final Cut Pro X from start to finish. We will be rolling out more info for our masterclass in the coming months, so make sure that you check out our website and sign up so that you can be the first to hear more as we get closer to release. Lastly, if there's anything that you want to know about editing or that you hope we discuss in more detail, leave it in the comment section of this video. We want to know what you would like to get out of this class, but also hear what your biggest struggle is when it comes to editing. Hopefully the information we share will help inspire and challenge you to start creating beautiful wedding films while saving you time in the process. 
If you found this video helpful or at least entertaining, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to follow our work in our future videos, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. I'm Kaylin from Wine Reverie. Thanks for watching.